In today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean up your background to remove the edges of your background paper. So welcome back to another video. It's nice to have you here. Today I have a short and easy tutorial that's going to show you how to clean up the background on your images when you're using uh, seamless paper rolls. Um, a lot of the times if uh, you're shooting something like say headshots, um, just because of the framing, you're going to find that a lot of the times you're going to capture the edges of the, uh, the paper roll. And that's what I'm going to show you today, uh, how to fix. Now, the easiest way that I found to do this is uh, the process that I'm going to show you today. But that's by no means the only way to do this. This is just the most efficient way for me to do it. And I came across this um, just because of the fact that I needed to sometimes process 100 or 200 of these images. So I needed to find a quick and efficient way to do this. So again, this is not the only way to do it. This is just the way that I do it. And it works for pretty much 95, 98% of, of the time. Uh, so pretty much always. So let's go into Photoshop and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so here we are inside of Photoshop and I've got an image in here where I've obviously moved the camera and I've captured the right hand side of the the edge of the background there and this is the bit that we want to fix so a uh, number of ways to do this uh, this is the fastest way that I've found uh, when working with a large number of images it does really make a difference um, uh, and it, to me it's perfect as far as I can tell anyway um, so we want to start off with the rectangular marquee tool that is up here if you see a different one in there just click and hold and you'll get all the different uh, marquee tools in there so we want to go with a rectangular one um, and now what we need to do this is the important bit where we need to make a selection on the side that we're trying to fix so we want to select as much background as we can uh, without actually getting any part of our subject so in here i'm just just off the subject there so uh, if i did this for example this would not work because i've captured part of his arm so we want to make sure we get as close to him as possible and uh, make sure we go all the way from the top to the bottom and at this point we want uh, once we've got the selection we want to go to free transform we can do that through the edit menu up here um, or we can uh, go in and do a command t on a mac or control t on a pc and that's when these handles come up now for this next step you may or may not have to hold down the shift key on adobe photoshop cc 20 uh, 2021 uh, you do have to hold the shift key when uh, th this was switched over a few versions ago. Um, so when you are using the free transform tool, if you grabbed one of the handles, as you can see, it's doing a proportion uh, stretch of the image. That is, it's stretching it to the right and also up and down. So we don't want that. But if we hit the shift key as we are stretching, uh, it will only do the horizontal. So we want to stretch this out now right up to the point where we fill the frame we don't want to go too fur too much further than that it's only to fill the frame once we've done that we click ok or hit the tick up at the top of the screen and uh and i'll get rid of my selection to show you but that uh is now fixed and there's no marks there's no it doesn't look stretched because there's no texture to the back of the screen obviously if you had a pattern you'd be able to see that it was stretched but because it's there, there is no pattern you can't tell um, and that's what makes this process uh, really, really quick, efficient, and it works, uh, it works really, really nicely. You cannot tell that that is a stretch, and now we have a corrected image. Okay, so that's it. It's a quick and easy way to fix those backgrounds, and if you do this type of photography, then maybe it's something that you can incorporate into your processes uh, to increase the efficiency of your work. Now, if you like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.